crafty friends welcome to this step-by-step -step guide to creating a quick and easy clean and simple card so step one for this particular card is to cut some apertures in a card panel so i'm using circles today i arranged my circle dies on my card stuck them down with a bit of sticky note and then ran them through my die cutting machine step two is to create a background now you can skip this step if you have a stash of ready-made backgrounds or leftover backgrounds from previous projects but i thought i would show you today how i made the background for this particular card first of all i smushed on some spun sugar distress oxide and then once it was dry i went over it with my anti-static powder tool and then I added some embossing ink to one side of an embossing folder. I used my brayer for this and a re-inker because that way I don't get any embossing ink in the valleys of my embossing folder where I don't want it. I only want it on the raised portion. Something else you can do to help you get a clean inked embossed impression with this method is to run your anti-static powder tool over your embossing folder before you put the ink on it and that way it'll reduce the static and any greasy fingerprints and you'll get a lovely clean embossed inked impression. So the next thing I did was to pour over some copper embossing powder and this obviously just stuck to the inked portion of my embossed card. There were a couple of little unwanted bits but I just bought in a paintbrush and brushed those away. It was really easy to do and after that I heated it with my heat tool. I chose copper for this partly because I wanted to do something other than gold because I do a lot of gold heat embossing and it's a lovely warm colour that went well with the subtle spun sugar. And here's the finished background. Right, step number three was to add my background behind my aperture panel. So I spent a little while moving my aperture panel over my background to see which bit I wanted poking through. I wanted to get a really nice set of copper swirls peeking through my aperture. So once I settled on that, I cut the panel down added foam tape to the back of my aperture panel and then stuck it onto my background panel. I do like to add foam tape between the front panel and the back panel. I think that little bit of extra depth just adds something a bit special to the card. So step four is to add the panel to the card. I tend to do that at this stage because I find it gives me a bit of a pause in my creative thinking and allows me to consider what I'm going to do for the next step. Now on to step five, which is to create a focal point. So for this card, I'm using an outline heart die and cutting my shape from copper glitter cardstock. But I also cut one from vellum. I did think about adding the vellum outline behind the copper but it wasn't particularly visible so i decided not to bother but i did take the vellum heart the main part from the inside of the die cut and added that so firstly i added my copper glitter heart using tacky glue and then i added the vellum heart on the inside just for a bit of something different and for that, I use micro glue dots, but instead of sticking the micro glue dots to the vellum heart, I stuck the micro glue dots to the bit of the front panel that the vellum would be sticking to, because I didn't want the whole of the vellum heart to be sticky, otherwise it might have stuck to the bit of background visible through the aperture, and I didn't want that. So step six, create a sentiment. 
For this card I chose the word hugs in a scripty font and I used a bit of the left over embossed panel but I wanted to make the word a little bit bolder than the spun sugar that was on there so I took my pink blending brush and just rubbed it over the leftover bit of panel and there was enough ink on there to just darken that pink a little bit so then I cut my hugs word cut the shadow out of white cardstock glued them together and stuck them in the middle of that heart there so the heart looks like it's hugging the word hugs and so on to our last step step seven add finishing touches for this card I'm using copper nouveau drops to go with all the other copper on the card I'm keeping the drops close to the focal point, close, snug around the apertures so that there's plenty of empty white space around the focal point, which is part of what makes this a clean and simple card. Even though the focal point is quite busy, there's plenty of empty white space to give that clean and simple feel. And because I still struggle with leaving well enough alone, I decided to add some glossy accents to the word hugs to give it a shiny feel. If I'd thought about it before, I might have put some clear packing tape over it before I cut my sentiment from that pinky coppery panel, but I didn't. So instead I'm adding glossy accents. And then, for a third finishing touch I decided to splatter on a bit of the spun sugar I wanted to bring a bit more of that pink to the foreground so I did try and keep my splatters again around the focal point so that there is plenty of empty white space still and I think I just about managed it but here is the final card I do hope you've enjoyed the video I hope you've picked up a few tricks and tips if you have please do leave a thumbs up let me know in the comments subscribe to my channel hit the notification bell do all the good things and I will see you back here very soon for my next video thanks for watching bye for now